I dedicate this video to 78th anniversary of the victory day, the victory of the Soviet Russian Red Army in World War II. And in this video, I will give you a full tour through the road of life. My name is Sergei Baklikov. You're watching Baklikov Live. Happy Victory Day to everybody. Every kilometer of 45 kilometers of the road of life, here are such a stellas. There's the number of the kilometer and the sign Daroga Zhizne, the road of life. On the first kilometer of the road of life here is such a memorial. We can see the real World War II anti-aircraft warfare, which has defended the road of life from the aircraft attacks and the monument to the girls traffic controllers they were giving the right direction to the truck drivers St. Petersburg, that's where St. Petersburg is over. The road of life, it's literally the road of life. The only way to connect Leningrad with a so-called big land. Because back then, from the south, from the west, and from the north, the Leningrad was in siege that has lasted for almost 900 days. From the north, uh, east of Leningrad, and 45 kilometers to Lake Ladiga. That was the road of life. And then, through the Ladiga to the east. That's how was happening the connection for delivering the goods, the groceries, ammunition and of course for the evacuation of the people now the road of life goes through the town of Sevalorsk, Leningrad region what about the ninth kilometer of the road of life here is the house of the aviators museum it is dedicated to all the aviators who are defended the road of life in the years of the siege of Leningrad, their airdrome was not far from here in the settlement called Priyutova. Right in front of the House of Aviators Museum, here on Rumbolovy Hill, another monument. These are the leaves of oak and laurel. They symbolize the life and glory, and Akron under them symbolize the new life. Continue driving further the road of life, and here on 10 kilometer, another significant memorial the most used track on the road of life in the years of the siege of leningrad it is gas model aa in russian language simply called paluterka what means one and a half that is exactly how many tones 
this track was able to carry on officially but let me tell you that in fact they almost always overloaded them about twice we keep moving forwards and that is the 12 kilometer here they have the whole fragments of the roads preserved the real road of life the real fragments of the real road of life in 1941 1943 preserved here as the memorial of a war time it's about like a half of kilometer here another memorial 1.2 million of the people of Leningrad evacuated. Glory to the heroes of the road of life. More rights, faster the victory against the enemy. 1.5 million tons of cargoes was supplied, delivered to Leningrad through the road of life. The next memorial on the road of life, the memorial to Katyusha, Soviet rocket launcher. Usually you can see that on those World War II Soviet tracks. A little village called Proba. to this little lake making barbecue the village called Irinovka впереди железнодорожный переезд the railways are forwards well look you're driving and driving through the road of life and that's it. You see an old oak. Already the 30th kilometer of the road of life. It's not just the memorial, that's the real cemetery so-called fraternal cemetery or as we say in russian language brotherhood grave here are buried as the soviet soldiers as the girl soldiers mostly from engineering and medical divisions as those people who died during the evacuation. Vaganovo village. Here they have an authentic historic blindage. The point of connection that blindage the point of connection one of those which are provided the connection between Leningrad and so-called big land the rest of Russia which is not besieged look uh, here they are provided the connection on this certain site then it went all the way to Ladega and was connected to uh, the big land 
with the C cable, probably the cable that was on the bottom of Lake Ladoga. Less than two kilometers from that blindage, and I already see the main memorial here. The Broken Circle Memorial is located right in the place where the road of life stuck into the Lake Ladoga and here its middle points. Then further or on a vessels in the summertime or on those gas AA tracks by the ice of Lake Ladoga. Look now how many people during this a victory day holidays are coming to commemorate all their relatives who went through the siege of Leningrad. Look, absolutely all the city of Leningrad was in the siege, so it is directly touched absolutely every Leningrad family. The broken circle. It has literally symbolized the encircled Leningrad. Yes, it was encircled. It was in a blockade, in a siege. The eternal flame. On the background, there's Lake Ladoga. By the way, the largest lake in the European parts of Russia. Now we go right to the shore of Lake Ladoga and there I will show you the lighthouse. Glory! Glory to the heroes of Leningrad! This is the tour base. It is called the World of Lighthouses. Like it is next to the beach of Lake Ladoga. The sand beach. The restaurant. Many people. A victory day holidays. Great weather. No winds. And beautiful Lake Ladoga. Sinovetsky Lighthouse, built here in 1905, 70 meters lighthouse, which is in 1941, 1944, turned to be a, the one showing the roads to the road of life.
from the Ausinovetsky lighthouse, yet less than a kilometer, and there's the central military and marine museum right on the bank of Lake Ladoga. The museum is already closed when you will come here. Keep in mind it's working until 5 p.m. And look what a great museum it is. Lake Ladoga railway station. It is like it is on the final 47th kilometer of the road of life, and here you can see this steam train called Komsomolets, officially Ash 4375, built in 1925. That is the one which is operated here in the years of the siege of Leningrad. Все для фронта, все для победы. Everything for the front, everything for the victory. From the other side of the railway station, that is the monument to the ships on the road of life. As we can see by these damaged fragments, not all the ships were going through the road of life, but they all were the heroes. Hope you all really enjoyed my Victory Day special, a full tour through the road of life.